you can use arrays concat method to combine two or more arrays i have two arrays here one is names one which is a string array names two is another string array and i would like to combine these two arrays in a final list for that i'm going to create a variable called as final list and i want to combine these two arrays i want to combine names two in names one for that i'm going to call names one's concat method and then pass names two in it if i hover over this method it takes string array as parameters and you can pass more arrays in it if you like if you want to concat more arrays in names one you can pass them comma separated in this method if i hover over this method again it returns a string array that we are storing in final list and let's print this final list instead of printing names in our console log if i refresh the page click on submit it's going to combine these two arrays in final list and then we are printing that final list in the console log so this is how you can combine two arrays you can use arrays reverse method to reverse the order of the array if you like let's say if i want to print satya steve bill sherlock in that order then i can use arrays reverse method for that let's store the reversed array in final list and then call final lists reverse method to reverse the elements in an array and return that as string array which will get stored in final list and that's what we are printing in the console log if i refresh the page click on submit it's going to print our array in the reverse order satya steve bill sherlock like that you can use arrays index of method to find out where that element is let's say if i want to find where sherlock is in final list then i can pass sherlock in my final list index of method to get the index of that element let's try to do that for that i'm gonna say final list index of and then i'm gonna pass the element that i would like to find in the array i'm gonna pass sherlock here and now if i click on submit it's going to print three because sherlock is at third location zero one two three so this is how you can get the index and we'll learn more about index in the next section by calling arrays splice and slice methods